Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is your boy Kamal once again, and today we have an interesting case study in differential equations. We're looking for a function y satisfying the equation that the second derivative of y with respect to x equals the same function y raised to an exponent n, where n here is a non-negative integer. Okay, cool. So let's get straight to the solution development, and we'll start off with the simplest cases first, that of n being equal to 0 and n being equal to 1. Now, if n equals 0, then we have y double prime equal to y to the 0, which of course equals 1. So on integration, we have the first derivative equal to x plus some constant of integration c sub 1. And again, on integration, we have the function of y being equal to x squared by 2 plus c sub 1 times x plus another constant of integration c sub 2. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. And for the case of n equal to 1, another simple case, we have y double prime being equal to y. And this is pretty easy to solve using the operator notation. So we have the derivative with respect to x operator being labeled as d. So the second derivative would be the derivative operator being applied twice. So that's d squared. And the equation turns into d squared y equal to the function y could be written as the identity operator being applied to y itself. And this implies that d squared y minus i y equals 0. And this further implies that d squared minus i of y equals 0. So the characteristic equation is d squared minus 1 equal to 0, which implies that d equals plus or minus 1. So we have two linearly independent solutions here, and the general solution would be a linear combination of them. So we have c sub 1 times e to the x plus c sub 2 times e to the negative x. Okay, so those are the very simple cases of n equal to 0 and n equal to 1. But what about now cases of n being greater than 1? Let's expand using the first derivative. So we have y prime here and y prime there. And the reason for that is now the left-hand side and the right-hand side both look like derivatives clearly look like derivatives anyway. So we would have the derivative with respect to x of y prime squared times a factor of 1 half to balance out the factor of 2 from the power rule. And on the right hand side, we have the derivative with respect to x of y to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So we have derivatives with respect to x on both sides. So we could just integrate and get y prime squared divided by 2 equal to y to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus a constant of integration a. And we can write this as y prime squared equal to 2y to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And of course, we could just absorb that factor of 2 into the constant of integration a. And this further implies that y prime would be the positive or negative square root of 2 by n plus 1 times the square root of y to the n plus 1 plus a times n plus 1. Okay, cool. So again, we have a separable differential equation at hand. And we can write this as plus or minus root n plus 1 by 2 dy divided by root y to the n plus 1 plus a times n plus 1 equal to dx, and we integrate, giving us on the right-hand side x plus another constant of integration b. And this thing here would be equal to plus or minus root n plus 1 divided by 2 times the integral of dy divided by y to the n plus 1 plus a times n plus 1. So this is the general solution of our differential equation expressed in terms of elliptic integrals. On the right-hand side, we have the so-called elliptic integrals. So yeah, this is the best we can get. However, we could look for the more simple solutions for a specific case of the a parameter here. The simplest case would be a equal to 0. So we could dive further into that. And we would have x plus b equal to plus or minus root n plus 1 by 2 times the integral of dy divided by y to the n plus 1 divided by 2, which is a which is a pretty simple integral to evaluate. 
we have plus or minus root n plus 1 by 2 times what exactly do we have y to the 1 minus n plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus n plus 1 by 2, correct? Yeah, that's about right. And this means we have plus or minus root n plus 1 by 2 times, okay, it's 2 divided by 1 minus n times y to the 1 minus n by 2. And we could have some cancellation happening here. 2 divided by root 2 is root 2. So we have plus or minus 2 times 1 plus n divided by 1 minus n times y to the 1 minus n by 2 equal to x. And of course, we have the constant of integration b. And we could express this as y in terms of x pretty easily as well. This implies that y to the 1 minus n by 2 equals what exactly? We have 1 minus n divided by root 2 times 1 plus n, plus or minus, of course, and we have x plus the constant of integration b. And, of course, this would further imply that y equals... Okay, so we would have... No, 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 of course not. 2 to the... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's 1 minus n divided by root 2 to the 1, 2 times 1 plus n, terribly sorry about that, plus or minus signs, and wait a second, much better, 1 minus n divided by root 2 times 1 plus n times x plus b, all raised to what exactly we have 2 divided by 1 minus n. Now, come to think of it, we might as well get rid of the plus or minus signs by using the square. So, applying the square, we would have 1 minus n squared divided by 2 times 1 plus n times x plus b, terribly sorry about that, x plus b squared, all raised to the 1 by 1 minus n, which is a pretty interesting looking final solution for y in terms of x. And I do like differential equations in that way. I mean, you can take relatively simple ingredients and turn it into a fun exploration. And just as a bit of homework for you guys, why not ponder on the question of the function y such that the second derivative would be the first derivative raised to some exponent n. And I will make a video on this differential equation soon, but just as a bit of fun little homework for you guys. I don't think homework is ever fun, but I believe it's a lot better when someone on YouTube presents you a bit of work to, you know, explore just for the fun of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Do drop me a follow on Instagram as well and support the channel if you can on Patreon. Thank you. See you next time.